All right, I'm going to start right off with the curse today. I'm in the same park. It, we had a beautiful week last week, but today it's 18 degrees, and that's the warm-up from what we did have this morning. I've got a beautiful 11-12 signal right here, down six inches. So I'm hoping for a buffalo nickel. Oops, I can't get it now. Let me see if I can find it. My stuff might be messing it up. Well, now I can't seem to get the signal again now that I have the camera on, but it was right here. Now it's bringing up a 14, but we're gonna see what it is. I'm hoping for a nickel, but it's probably a bottle cap because I have the camera on. You know how that goes, right? <laughs> All right, let's go see. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a button. Oh, look at that one. That's nice. Oh no, it's breaking on me. Look at that button. Oh, that looks like an old one. Look at the tip of it. All right. That's got to be what the 12 was. That's a beautiful one. I think I'd have one similar to that. Yep, that's it. 11, 12. That's amazing. <laughs> Score. That's not in very good shape. That's the worst condition button I think I've found so far. Looks like the edge is coming off. But that's very nice. I like that a lot. Well, all right. Score. Let me put that away. Okay, under the 12, 13 signal. A beaver. Oh, something just like it was a beaver tail. Yep, that's a folded over beaver. I don't know what this little thing is, but it rang up a seven. It was attached. I broke it when I was wiping it off. There's a little arrow on the big round part to the left, and I just broke it. So I'm, I thought it was maybe from a musical instrument or something. No idea, but it's broken now. <laughs> Rang up the seven on the Equinox. The only thing I found today, it wasn't clad. 16, on my way to the car. So I just do my good deed and dig up a full tab. It's not, it's a key, so that's pretty cool. I'm done for the night though, done for the week. All week, I got nothing but clad. Whoops, and I did have a key, but now I've lost it. <laughs> it's a good thing I have a metal detector. It'll turn up. <laughs> All right, that's it. Moving on. Just bring up at 11. Some kind of a chain. I'm sure it's junk. It's pretty cool. It was down quite a bit in this mucky, mucky stuff in the woods. But I'll keep it just in case. All right, bring up a 2122. I thought I was getting a penny. Decided to dig it anyway. It's one of those um, Congress Park carousel tokens. This doesn't look very clear. I wonder if my lens needs cleaning. Okay, thought I was getting a penny. Ended up getting a Congress Park carousel token. I think this is the seventh one I've gotten over the three year period. So I plan on giving them to my children and letting them just have fun with it, except for the one I got a few years ago that is a mem I can't say, commemorative one. Well, I met a gentleman today here and uh, he was walking around. He has his own YouTube channel, not for metal detecting. But I gave him a hunk of copper that came out of the ground because he was here talking to me while I was swinging. And he thought, he said that piece of copper would be really cool for like a name tag plate. And so I gave it to him and said, hey, yeah, here you go. I'm not doing anything with it. I'm just gonna recycle it, toss it, whatever. And uh, he gave me a dollar for it. I thought that was very generous of him. So I made a dollar today. <laughs> All right, moving yeah, back to this area where there's this giant tree. I was here last year and checked it out because there used to be a house on this property. Now it's a public parking area for a stream. So I thought I would give it a shot again, see if maybe I could find something this time. All I found last time was trash, but I know there's gotta be something here. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I'll get back to you. Now this rang up. Hold on. 25, 26, 27, it's a little tiny spoon. It's the smallest spoon I found and I think it might be silver because of the numbers. 
That looks pretty good. That kind of looks rusty there. I don't know. I've never found a tiny one like this. Yeah, that kind of looks silver, doesn't it? it? Sure does. It's twisted up. It might be pewter, though. I don't know. It's twisted up. There's no design on it. Well, actually, it might be aluminum or something because it's pretty lightweight, actually. How many times am I going to say actually? <laughs> it is light, though. I think it might be aluminum. But that's pretty cool. That's a tiny little spoon. I wonder if it's a toy spoon. Yeah, a baby spoon? Does it have a hole in it? No. Okay. Let's bring up a 16. I think it's part of like a stove pipe. Or something you would use for a stove pipe. I was expecting. Sorry about the traffic noise. I was expecting a uh, pull tab. It wasn't deep. This was all over the place in the 20s. I was looking for a zinc penny, possibly. Looks like it's a lug nut, maybe? I'm guessing, from a car. I think Patrick from Amphibious Detecting would be able to tell me if it's from the house that used to live here, or just one of these many cars driving by inches from me. <laughs> Thank goodness for the guardrails, huh? Okay, moving on. Beautiful 1964 nickel. <laughs> Perfect 1112. Cool. Moving on. I was getting a nickel. I got a quarter and a nail. <laughs> Oops, that is a quarter, isn't it? Oh wait. No, that's not a quarter. What the heck is that? That's not a quarter. I thought it was a quarter, but it is not. It's from the year 2000. Wow, how cool is that? It is not a quarter. Oh, what is a quarter from? Is that Canadian? 25 cents from wherever it is. How cool. I'm going to check that out a little better at home. How cool. Well, this rang up a nickel. Oh, probably rang up a nickel by itself. Oh, Bahama. The Bahamas. Cool. Yay. A Bahama coin. All right. I'm glad I decided to film that. Otherwise, it would have went right in the pouch. I would have assumed it was a quarter. Cool. Okay, moving on. These numbers were all over the place, as you can imagine. I thought I was getting a penny. 24, 25. I don't know what it is. It's got hinges on it. So it flaps up and down. I'm thinking maybe on the doors. They used to have the flap up and down thing for mail, a mail slot on your door. I'm thinking maybe that's what it might be. I don't really know. But that's my best guess right now. Okay, moving on. That was getting a penny. It was a 2324. I don't know what that is. Probably some kind of a nut or a bolt or a tool. Of course, it was under the roof, aren't they always? <laughs> but uh, it wasn't a good find, I don't think. I'm going to keep it with my goodies, though, because you never know. Patrick will know what it is. He's really good at that amphibious detecting. Okay, moving on. I thought I was getting a penny. I got a little tiny key. Doesn't look like it's that old. Master. Oh, it's probably for a padlock. Well, it's something anyway. Moving on. Let's ring up the 12. Definitely not gold. Probably not silver. It's too low for silver. Well, that's pretty cool. Oops, did I just knock the part of it out? Maybe. Put the other one's in there. Nope. It's already got a piece of jewelry. I haven't got a piece of jewelry in a very long time. But like I said, it's probably just stainless. Probably not even stainless because it's already stained. That's where the rest of the earring go. Damn it. <laughs> oh, it's old and broken. Okay, this isn't where I was heading. I was heading to the local park again where I found the spoon, but I saw these curbs and I saw these nice wide sidewalk curb strips. And I thought, wow, let's give that a shot. I don't want to give away my location because there's a lot of curb here to do. 
with some big trees. So I thought I'd give it a shot. I'll get back to you if I find anything good. Okay, this kind of looks like a bullet. We got the 16, it's flat on one side, rounded on the other. It's the only thing I could find in the hole. I'll keep looking, but I think that was it. Moving on. Well, this hasn't been the best curb strip ever, that's for sure. All I've been finding are nails. I found a single penny and now a key. And that's it. I was expecting another penny. It was almost on the surface, about an inch down. Another master lock. Gentleman that works here stopped by and asked if he could help me. And I told him, nope, I'm just metal detecting from the curb on the street side. And he said, okay, just make sure you fill up your holes. And I said, I have been, thank you. And he moved on. I was a little worried he was gonna ask me to move on, but honestly, at this side, I'm finding Zippo. So it wouldn't have been a crime. Usually when they do ask me to move on, I find something good where I go. My timer's already gone off once. So I won't be here much longer, but if I don't find something good soon, I'll definitely let you know where I was because I'm not doing any good. All right, moving on. Something different. I thought I was getting a pull tab. Ring up the 16, but it's fancy. It's got some kind of design on it. It's thick. Wonder if maybe it was an old rosette. See, it's got fancy design on it. It wasn't deep. I think it might have been square shape. Check that a little better when we get home. Let me just make sure there's nothing else in that hole. And more of the pull tab. Oh, 16. Huh? No. Nope, nothing else. Okay. So whatever this is. Oh, that's cool. We'll figure it out. I found more of that piece, another 16. It's definitely the same. It's definitely the same piece. It's got the same design on it. It's green, coppery. I don't know what that is. Maybe not copper, maybe stain. Oops, come back here. This also bring up the 16. So whatever it is, it all goes together. That's cool. Let me see if there's any more 16s here. Felt like there were a few more. And the other one I found, let's see, where was it? I think right around here somewhere, so it wasn't far away. Look dirty there. Bring up a 12, part of a harmonica reed. Very small part. But better than a bottle cap, right? Okay, moving on. I don't know if that's what this is, but it looks like one of those bottle cap openers that used to be on the Coke machines or on the soda machines. That's what it looks like to me. busy out here. I'm in the park by the trees but not under them because the ground's thawed. Anyway, this isn't the target I was after, obviously. It's, I'm going to leave this in my goodies bag, though. It was 12 I was after. First time out in like a week on a nice curb strip. As you can tell, it's the kind that I like. Really old, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Probably go up to, try not to show anywhere. Up to there, maybe up to the corner. I'll get back to you if I find anything. Let's bring up the 17. I don't think it's that old. It's definitely copper because of the color, it's green. 
I'm next to a utility pole. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's very heavy. Okay, moving on. It was all over the place. I dug this out first. I took the pinpointer back in, found this. Not sure what it is. I think it's a little piece of lead. Maybe a, some type of a seal or something. It's pretty cool though, whatever it is. It's very heavy. That's why I'm thinking lead. It's definitely not gold. <laughs> it's cool. All right, that's it. Not really having much luck. I'm getting lots and lots of pennies. Got a couple quarters, dimes. That's why you haven't seen me. I haven't really dug anything fun yet. Nothing good. Whole bunch of trash. Whole bunch of trash in there. Lots and lots. So I'm doing my environmental cleanup today. All right, look at I had something here. Look at how green that is. Super green, right? Flip it over. What is it? It's just a memorial. Holy crap. I guess it's okay green. Well, it was exciting for a split second. Okay, this one's jumping around from a 23 to a 27, but it's in the perfect spot. Even though all I've found so far are pennies, pretty much. Nothing old, not even a week. This is the right spot to find my silver, right along the curb line. So I'm going to curse myself by doing it live. I'm looking for, um, well, there it is. It's a penny. <laughs> but this is a copper one. It was an 82, and it is an 82. Somebody is already hit this curb line obviously or i don't know because it's old curb but i'm finding nothing i can't even find a wheat penny but i'm gonna keep going i have a little bit more to go hopefully i can get all of it moving on okay, i'm gonna do a wrap up for the last couple of weeks i haven't really found a whole bunch of stuff so mostly clad but i did find a spoon in here i got a dollar i got i'm not sure how to pronounce this furniture escussion that was pretty cool. Another spoon, if I can find it. One of these things. <laughs> some keys. Some other oddball things. I'll get right back to you. All right, here's my exciting week. I also got a piece of jewelry. One heart earring. It's not silver. It looks silver, but the back tells me it's not. It's got that funky design on the back. stripes that usually means fake to me it usually means fake even though the front looks really good wheat penny 58d and where was the other one 56 a couple of uh, not subway tokens carousel tokens a coin I should have wet it <laughs> I can't read it 25 cents from I can't see it, but it'll dry shortly and we'll be able to see it. Half a penny. This was interesting. It took me a little while to get it out. I think it's a piece of furniture. I can't say the word. Eschion. It's pretty cool, though. It's nice. There's my nice looking one, though. And that came out really pretty. I don't know if it's old or not, but it's pretty. Copper. My spoon, I know it's old only because it says made in USA. If you can see that. It's not silver. I'm pretty sure it's not silver. It doesn't weigh enough to be silver. So it's probably aluminum. I don't know if it's a baby spoon or a toy spoon. A couple pieces of this chain. No idea what that's from. I think this is another one of those furniture things. Keyhole maybe. A couple of these bale seals, I'll call them. This I found, it's falling apart. I lost part of it already. There's the rest of it right here. But I don't know, it looks like it, I don't know. The other ones I found haven't looked like this. So I don't know, I'm thinking maybe it's a newer one. That's why it's rusting out. Not made out of whatever the older ones were that did last, but I don't know. And I got a ton of clad here, I have to add it up. More junk I thought I threw out. Can opener. Maybe I'll use that. <laughs> a couple keys. I like the keys. I like these. This one. That's the kind I like. These fancy looking shaped ones. I don't know if it's for anything. Can't quite tell. Another piece of harmonica reed. Some kind of, I don't know, buckle thing. There was another one here somewhere. I don't know what that is. A clip maybe? 
No idea. Dog tag, 2015, so not that old. And that's really it. Just, oh, here's the other buckle thing I was looking for. I don't know what that is. I'll add up the clad and let you know. Some kind of a buckle, though. That's it. Oh, the dollar I got from a gentleman who wanted a big piece of copper plate I found. I just gave it to him, and then he folded that all up fancy and gave it to me and said it was a gift because I told him what I gave you was a gift, and he said, well, this is a gift to you also. And I said, okay. So I took it. I wasn't going to take it. Well, I tried not to take it originally, but I don't want to, you know, insult him. Anyway, that's it. Two, three weeks worth of hunting and nothing really good. <laughs> so the realities of metal detecting. I Moving on. from the Bahamas. I have $8.25 in quarter, $4.80 in dimes, $1.40 in nickels, and $1.43 in pennies, plus $1 in dollars. Two $1 Saratoga tokens for the carousel. So that comes to a grand total of... 16.88 plus the two dollar coins and a couple of pennies so that's it about what did i just say 17 dollars roughly so that was pretty good but it took me two and a half three weeks to get there mm -hmm.